Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another vlog. How are you guys? I was just enjoying some coffee. I just chugged about two mugs down. <laughs> I have um, a couple of, well, several boxes here of brand new luxury beauty and skincare that I wanted to play around with today. I placed a very large order at Nordstrom and I am working with Nordstrom on this video. So excited. Big thank you to them. And I wanted to do a little unboxing with you guys and uh, we'll be putting it on later on in this video. The skincare, I think what I'll do is use it as my nighttime skincare routine. So we'll take a look at all of that stuff, but I'm really, really excited for this stuff. So wait, let's talk about this skincare first because, sorry, I already opened up the box for these because I was so, so excited. I ordered a bunch of the Prada skincare Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try this. So the first thing I ordered is the Augmented Skin Adaptogen Smart Technology Cream. So cannot wait to dig into this. I also thought I would try their cleanser. That's always a good place to start. And then, now I don't know you guys, I may, I may be a little bit too cocky, but I got the Augmented Skin Essence Lotion. It's a micro peel product. Now you guys know I have sensitive skin. However, over the past few years, my skin has gotten more and more resilient, or I should say less and less reactive. I do think it has something to do with my age. And I have been able to use a few AHAs, BHAs here and there. And so I thought, mm, let me try. <laughs> let me try this uh, Prada Essence Lotion because it does have an acid complex with AHA, BHA, and PHA and enzymes. So we'll just use it on like this part of my skin, which I tend to get like rough texture and I could really use some exfoliation here. And this part of my skin also is the toughest. So I think we'll, yeah, we'll leave it to there, but I was, I was really tempted by this. So I thought, let's just try it. Let's see what happens. Um, I do also have the brand new Clay de Poe um, Eye Contour Cream Supreme really excited to try that but let's go ahead and open up these boxes that i just got um i believe the makeup that i ordered is in here ah yes so i did order the new tom ford eye color quad creme in iconic smoke so very excited to try that out and then i ordered two of the new rouge hermes matte lipsticks one is in orange neon. I couldn't resist. You guys know how much I love an orange lip color. And the other one is Rouge Cinétique, number 47. So we'll be playing around with those as well. And then I did also get the Louboutin Foundation. Sorry, I'm trying to find the name of this foundation. It is the Sublimating Fluid Foundation, and I got it in the shade 20N Dune Nude. Let's see, I'm taking a look at this bottle for the first time. Wow, how opulent. I think this shade should work. Um, I've used this same shade, this 20N, in, was it their cream foundation? I think it was their cream foundation, which was lovely. So I'm hoping for the same results with this. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this. This is a one ounce bottle, I believe. Yes, it is a one fluid ounce bottle. So we'll be trying that out as well. And then this was the Nordstrom February um, Beauty and Fragrance gift with purchase. There's so much good stuff in here. Let me just pull out some of the highlights here. The Prada cream <laughs> is included. Look at this awesome little package. So if you want to try it, maybe order something that you've been wanting to re-up on or yeah, just like a known love. And then you'll get like a little sample of this. This is awesome. The Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia, which I love, especially for the cooler months. Look at this teeny tiny Mac Fix Plus. This is <laughs> so adorable. And then you have a sample of Tom Ford's new Vanilla Sex, which I have a full bottle of. And this is probably my favorite vanilla fragrance because I'm not the biggest fan of just like straight up sweet vanilla. That's not my thing. But this has, much like a lot of Tom Ford fragrances, there's like a gravity to it. There's like a lot more of a deeper 
note in there. It's it's really beautiful. You guys know how much I love the vitamin rich face base from Bobbi Brown. Look at this like deluxe sample, like travel size, amazing. The Sislier Essential Skincare Lotion, which I love. And then they threw in a couple masks, the 111 Skin Rose Gold Eye Mask, which I love. And look at this, the Silwasu Gins Concentrated Ginseng Renewing Creamy Mask. Love this. That is a great gift with purchase. Sometimes not so great. This one was really awesome. So big thank you to Nordstrom for that. Let's put on this makeup. I'm so excited to try out some of these new things that I got. And then this evening, what I'll do is use the skincare. I'd like to see how effective the product cleanser is in removing makeup. I usually do a double cleanse, but maybe we'll just test this out and see how it works all on its own. But I think that's the plan for today. I'm trying to think if I have any plans for during the day. I don't really. It is an interesting weekend here in Vegas because we just got through a whole bunch of stuff. Super Bowl, Lunar New Year. I feel like they just finished taking down all of the Formula One stuff. Like it's really been a hectic time in Vegas. You know, the sphere went live. Anyway, uh, what they've decided to do to do some construction on the strip is they've closed our main highway, like closed it in both directions at a very popular point, basically like right next to the strip. They've just closed that highway for the entire weekend. So yeah, it just feels like kind of a, a strange weekend here in Vegas because, you know, the weekends, I think a, a lot of locals probably stay put, but I think a lot of people go to the strip um, and have fun. And I don't, and not that you can't get there. There's of course side roads and stuff, but it really is a deterrent because yeah, it's our main, it's our main highway. So anyway, um, I did actually have plans to meet a friend last night for dinner and I had to cancel because I was like, I don't, I just don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with traffic and everything because um, I thought originally when I had heard about <clears throat> about the highway closure, excuse me, I thought it was only one way, but it's both directions. Like it's just completely cut off. So I'm like, that is just going to cause so many issues. So unfortunately I had to cancel with her and uh, reschedule. Fortunately, I could reschedule with her. So anyway, that was kind of a bummer. But yeah, it's just been a really, really crazy time here in Vegas. So that was my very long-winded way of saying that I don't really have any major plans uh, today. So yeah, so it'll be a fun day to just kind of play with makeup. I'm really excited for this Louboutin foundation. I've had really good luck with foundations lately, like the Prada foundation. That foundation so good, as I mentioned in my favorites on Sunday. So, so good. So I have high hopes for this. Is this a pump? It is. It's got a pump top. Let me stop dilly-dallying. I'm sitting here contemplating whether or not I need another cup of coffee. Probably not. Probably not. Uh, maybe I'll make some decaf. Anyway, let me get myself together and we'll try on all of this new makeup. All right, so let's start with the Louboutin foundation. This is the box, by the way, that it comes in. And... I've already shown you the bottle. I just threw it in here to, to carry it from the kitchen over here. Um, so this is the bottle again. We do have a pump top there, which is great. I'm just gonna shake it up first for good measure. And let's pump some out onto the back of my hand. It has a nice texture, not too thin. Doesn't look like it's running down my hand. And I wonder if the shade, I think it'll work. I think it'll work. It looks a little teensy bit warm for me. And this is the 20N again. I don't know. Yeah, doesn't it look a little warm? Hmm. Let's see how it looks on my face. Oh, it has a really pleasant fragrance. Just kind of, um, kind of reminiscent of the Chanel, just sort of this like clean, clean fragrance. Okay. I'm just putting it on half of my face. I want to get an idea of its coverage and uh, finish and all of that. You know what I'm pleasantly surprised at is the coverage seems to be like a light medium. I do think this shade is just a tint too deep for me. Do you see that? It does look kind of warm. Wow, I've really gotten pale. <laughs> really gotten pale. But like I was saying, I really am pleasantly surprised that the f uh, coverage of this foundation is like a light medium. I don't know why, maybe because Louboutin is Louboutin. I just assumed it would be <laughs> kind of like full coverage. The finish is definitely like skin-like. 
It's like a soft, a very soft matte. It's pretty. I feel like it's, <laughs> is it me or is it the foundation? I feel like it's accentuating my laugh line right here. You can see without foundation, with foundation, I feel like it's really kind of sunken into the that line, but I don't feel like it has sunken into my finer lines, just, <laughs> just these big canyons that I have here. And even in my forehead, you can see it's kind of like fallen in there, really sunken in. All right, let me pump out another pump and a half. That's pretty much how much I used on that side. And we'll go in and finish this up. This shade is actually perfect for my forehead, which is much deeper than the lower part of my face and my neck. But it's almost like you couldn't even detect it on my forehead. You can see it down here. Wow, you can really see it. Let me bring it down. If you use me as a shade reference, 20 n is too deep. It is too deep. It's a little bit too warm. So just to read some info off of the Nordstrom site, this is a matte liquid foundation. I mean, I would agree with that, but you can see it doesn't look super dry or velvety per se. There's definitely more of like a natural skin, very, very soft satin kind of finish. Light Veil brings breathable, buildable, perfectly flawless comfort and high coverage. I don't know that I would call this high coverage. You know, you can still see my freckles and stuff, but okay, okay. It probably, it definitely has a lot more than probably my initial assessment of light medium. Now that it's kind of settling in, I think I would agree with medium coverage. I would not call this high coverage though. What it does, up to 24 hours of comfortable, no transfer wear and a luminous matte finish. I would agree with that. Liquid foundation unifies and illuminates with sublimating, breathable, high coverage, uh, minimizes appearance of pores, smooths and softens the complexion and leaves the skin feeling moisturized, long lasting, not drying. It's a vegan formula infused with dermaglam complex. It's concentrated of precious skin loving ingredients that actively care for the skin. Okay, I can't speak to the wearability, uh, obviously, of this foundation yet, but since I will be touching base with you guys this evening to use the product skincare, we can see, we can see at least at that point, like how it's worn, if it has transferred any of those things. So that'll be a good test, but so far so good. I think it makes my skin look really smooth. This uh, foundation is probably not like an everyday type of foundation for me. This is definitely a little bit more glammed up. The coverage is a little bit higher. As you guys know, I generally do like a very light coverage, glowy kind of uh, foundation base. But I think if I wanted, you know, to look a little bit more flawless, I'd go for something like this. So that is the Louboutin Sublimating, Sublimating Fluid Foundation. Now, I don't really have any complexion products from this recent haul, but in my last Try New Makeup video haul, I did talk about the new Bosma Beauty cream blushes. I really, really love them. And so I've tried the mauve shade, but I wanted to try this fuchsia shade because I love this formula so much. I'm just really dying, <laughs> dying to try all the shades. So I'm going to try fuchsia today. I'm just gonna pick some up with my finger and tap. I love the level of pigmentation. It's not uh, intimidating. <laughs> You're not gonna get clown cheeks. You can build up slowly. And the formula is so good. Just blends out like a dream. I'm trying to see if it's like, you know, disturbed the foundation or anything underneath. Let me take a close look here. No, everything looks good to go. Look at that pretty color. I love this fuchsia. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, yes, just absolutely loving these. So I just kind of just passed the whole bronzer contour situation. I think because this foundation is a little deeper than my skin tone, I don't think I need it. Um, I'm gonna skip highlight as well because I do wanna see how this foundation kind of wears over the day. I wanna see if like my natural oils kind of start to come through. So we'll skip that. Oh, but let's do my brows. I'm really loving that new Benefit Precisely My Brow Wax. It's really good. All right, so I've got the brow wax here. I'm just gonna swipe it on. 
I love it. It does just enough to my brows, just short of Groucho Marx, you know? <laughs> All right, I'm so excited to try out this new Tom Ford quad. It just looks so, so beautiful. So again, this is the iconic smoke in the creme formula. This does look gorgeous. Look at that. This looks like a really deep purpley navy. This looks like a black or like a blackened purple. And then we've got a shimmery taupe up there, which you guys know I'm just drooling over. And then this really gorgeous like peachy gold nude. Oof, let's do some swatches. This shade feels like velvet. They all feel like velvet. Oh, look at that. That's that taupey shade. It has like a burnt purple underneath. Oof. Oh, wow. I guess I'm doing a little bit of a smoky look today, of course. And I'm gonna be trying the new Sonia G um, Traditions brushes. These are so gorgeous, look at these. Okay, I don't really do a smoky eye very often, so I'm trying to think where to start. Okay, I'm gonna start with this shade. I'm gonna put that all over, and then maybe we'll deepen up with one of these. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna start with this T5 brush from Sonia G. So I'm just applying a light wash of that all over. That is so pretty. Oof, this is great as a one and done. Just adding a little bit more. What a pretty shade. All right, now, wow. I haven't done a really dramatic eye look in a very long time. I'm gonna go in with this T3 brush, uh, which is such an interesting shape because it is pointed and fairly dense like a pencil brush, but the bristles are so much longer than a pencil brush. So anyway, I think this will be really good to kind of like smoke out closer to my lash line. I'm gonna go in with the really deep shade over here. And I'm gonna start by getting that really close to the lash line and then blend it out and up. I'm getting a little bit of fallout. I'm gonna have quite the evening look, just sort of hanging out at home today. <laughs> Make sure I knock off the excess here and see if that helps with the fallout, it should. Oh yeah, that made all the difference. So just make sure you knock off your brush if you pick up one of these deeper shades. I'm not getting any fallout on this side. And I'm spending just a little bit more time kind of knocking off my brush. All right, wow. I'm gonna take this T1 brush, which is a very dense smudger brush, and I'm gonna go into this other deep shade. It's just a little bit brighter. Bring that along my lower lash line. I'm gonna take the same brush actually and go into uh, this deeper shade that I used up top. I'm gonna to pick up some and just get this like into my lash line here. I don't feel like I got all the way down in there. You know, I like that these darker shades are easier to work with. They're not as like super high pigmented as like a black liner kind of shadow where it's really sooty and it's almost like you're using pure charcoal. These have a little bit, probably because of that cream uh, formula, these have a little bit, uh, they're softer. They're a little bit softer. However, because of that and because they're such deep colors, I feel like it's, um, it's hard to get like a really even wash of these colors. So I'm taking this brush, picking up just a little bit of the product, of course tapping off the excess, and then just kind of pressing it lightly in those spots that I feel like maybe just aren't as opaque as the other spots. You know, just kind of like evening out the application. And that's doing the trick. Just taking my first brush and grazing it over the top here just to kind of blend that all out. And let's see, what can we do with this 
nude gold shade. Maybe I'm gonna take this big fluffy eyeshadow brush, this T6. I've just been dying to use this brush. I'm gonna take it onto this peachy gold and just see how it looks underneath my brow here. Oh, pretty good. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be too warm, but that actually looks nice. Just kind of cleaning that up a little. How's that for a little Saturday at home smoky eye? <laughs> I think what I need though is a little bit of mascara. And I do think I need a little bit of eyeliner here. So I'm gonna use my Suku Gel Eyeliner in black. Is that this one? Yeah, in zero one. So, you know what? Actually, I'm going to put on mascara first. I find when I curl my lashes upwards, just makes it easier to tight line, which is what I want to do with the eyeliner. Got my Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. Just gonna go underneath my lashes and get right in that tight line area. And then in between my lashes. I wonder for this look if I need to Waterline it as well, lower waterline. I think so. I think so. Let's go. Let's go all the way. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What a difference eyeliner makes. I don't have any on this eye. All right. Wow. Full on. Full on smoky eye look. Kind of like it. <laughs> I should do this every day, all day. All right. Lipsticks. So we've got these new Hermes. Oops. These new Hermes. <laughs> lipsticks. Okay, let me unbox these. So this one is the orange neon. It's just, their cases are the absolute best, are they not? Look at this color. That is fantastic. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so that is orange neon. And this one, wow, it's number 47, Rouge Cinétique. And this, well, it's very close. <laughs> it's very close. I remember when I ordered these, I just couldn't decide between the two. Yeah, this one's just more of a, less orange, more red. Yeah, so I'm gonna wanna end up with the more red one. I think it goes with the eye look a little bit better. So I'm gonna start with the orange neon because I do wanna put both on for you. Wow, I have to admit. <laughs> Usually when I do a smoky eye, I like a very nude lip, or when I do a bright eye, I like a very like one and done kind of nude eyeshadow look because I feel a little bit like a cartoon character right now. I don't know if this is like the best pairing, but anyway, look at how wonderful this lip color is. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. And the Hermes matte lip colors are so comfortable. So, so comfortable. But anyway, let me take this off and put on the other one. Oh my God, I cannot get my lip line right. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway, God, I feel like every time I try and fix my lip line, it, it's just getting worse. But this gives you an idea of the shade, number 47, such a pretty red. But I'm going to remove this and just throw on like a, <laughs> like a light neutral color. This is too much. Wouldn't you agree? The smoky eye and the bright lip, I just think it's too much. I feel like the Joker. Fix up my foundation in the mirror. I'm gonna use my Louboutin Rouge Gloss Lipstick, I think is probably not the full name, but I think some of those words are in there. This is in the shade Bear Kate. This appeared in my favorites uh, this past Sunday. So that if it looks familiar, that's why. I love this formula. I think that is a lovely compliment <laughs> to my smoky eye. Mm, all right. Let's do a little bit of a close look here. Yeah, I, I like this Louboutin uh, foundation in general. I just think it's starting to sink into some of my uh, deeper lines. Everywhere else, it looks great. I think it looks really nice. I didn't put on any powder. I didn't put on any concealer. So this is the foundation all on its own. This eyeshadow is gorgeous, gorgeous. I love, love, love the Tom Ford creme eyeshadow formula. Even though this feels a little bit different, it doesn't feel quite as wet as the others, like the originals that came out, but this still does have like a creaminess to it. It's just a little bit different, but it's so, so easy to work with. And those Hermes, and the Hermes lipsticks were great too, just I don't think a very good match 
with this with this eye look. But anyway, that's all the makeup I got from Nordstrom. And like I said, this evening, I would like to use that skincare with you guys and see how all of that feels and looks. So anyway, I cannot wait to try those things out with you guys. Good evening, like promised, we are here to uh, kind of continue with this um, try on haul. I've got all of this Prada skincare. I've got something from Clay de Poe, their new eye cream. Now we've had a little bit of a tragedy. I was, you know, I was collecting all the boxes from downstairs and bringing them upstairs and I was like, why is this box wet? I thought it got into something and I was just kind of, you know, wiping my hands off or whatever. Well, the essence lotion exploded. <laughs> it didn't explode. It actually, you can see it in here, the top glass part, it just broke off from there. I, I don't know how, I don't know why, I'm not sure exactly what happened. A little piece of glass just came off. So that's the last thing I wanna be wiping on my face is a piece of glass, but we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> so what I wanna start with is the cleanser. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's talk about the makeup. So I've had this makeup on for about nine hours now. I think the eyeshadow has faded a little bit, but really not much. Obviously the lipstick is gone. I do not reapply that. What you see is, is what you get. <laughs> There's pretty much no lipstick left. That's to be expected. That Bosma Beauty uh, cream blush, still there, gorgeous. This foundation pretty much looks exactly the same as it did when I put it on. That's saying a lot, like no fading. And I have been, um, I wouldn't say like full on blowing my nose, but I definitely have been dabbing my nose because my nose has been running. Um, and I don't see any like wearing away around my nose. Actually, let's do it again because my nose is running because this is supposed to be transfer proof. So this is what I've been doing all day. I've just been doing this, the old lady move. <laughs> and mm, I see, sorry, not to show you my snots, but I do see a little bit of, a teensy bit of the foundation on my tissue, but not much. Okay. You can see that it's looks really good. <laughs> it looks really, really good. Okay. Yeah, the Louboutin makeup really has been impressing me. I feel like right in the beginning, they had a few fails. They had that weird liquid eyeshadow. But ever since I feel, I don't think they revamped anything necessarily, but I think maybe they took a little bit of a step back and started releasing things a little bit more slowly. I really have been impressed with their stuff. I think it's been really, really good. No oils like breaking through and just to, to talk about my day. It's not like I've gone out running or anything. I've been hanging out around the house, made lunch, played with butters, did some work or whatever. Had kind of like a normal day, ran an errand. So kind of had a normal day and nothing. Okay, well, I think that's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's move on to the product cleanser. So this is the Augmented Skin Cleanser. And you know, I love that they even turned their QR code into they didn't turn it into a triangle, but they basically just turned it so they could make a triangle shape out of it. Oh my God, Prada, they think of everything. Okay, here is packaging, <laughs> super sleek, silver toned. Is it a oh, Prada on the cap there? Look at that, so chic. It's suitable for sensitive skin. It's made in France, amino acids, glycerin, it's a cream to foam cleanser formulated with 89% bio-based ingredients. There's actually no instructions on how to use on the box. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is use it the way I would normally use a cleanser. I'm gonna apply it to dry skin. I'm gonna work it in. And then I usually take a damp cloth to wipe it off. But I think what I'll do with this guy is I'll add a little bit of a step. I'm going to apply it to dry skin, work it in, and then I'm going to add just a little bit of water and see if it like emulsifies or anything like that and then use the cloth. So let's start there. I'm just gonna squeeze out. Let's see what this texture is like. Ooh, it's um, like lotion-y. Definitely has a fragrance but very mild. It does feel kind of thick. I do think I'm gonna have to work some water in to 
loosen it up and emulsify it. I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit more here. I mean, I know you're supposed to avoid the eye area, but I wanna see if this removes eye makeup. So I'm just gonna work it in my eye area. If you have sensitive eyes, you may not wanna do this, but I'm keeping my eyes closed. Ooh. Well, then I may have to lean over the sink for this. Okay. I did end up rinsing it off, but now I'm taking that wet cloth. I like to just really make sure I'm getting all of it off, making sure I'm wiping off any residual eye makeup. I definitely don't recommend using that to remove your eye makeup. I was just seeing like how well it does. And it was actually really effective in moving, uh, in removing eye makeup. But I think in the future, what I will do is use like a makeup remover, especially around my eyes, and then just use a cleanser around my face because look at that. Super clean, super duper clean. This is what came off when I used the towel and my skin doesn't feel like tight or dry. Ooh, it's really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, I think for safety's sake, I am not going to use this because I just don't know if any glass has fallen in there and I feel like, you know, if I tip it over and I don't see the glass, but I wipe and it's there, whatever. I think it's just better safe than sorry to use that. And I know Nordstrom is the absolute best when it comes to exchanges and returns. So I'm just gonna ask to see if they'll send me a replacement for this. Oh, I'm so bummed. You guys know how much I wanted to try that product. Okay, no big deal. I've got plenty of other stuff that I wanna try. So I've got the new Clay de Peau eye cream and then we've got the product cream. I do actually have the U Beauty uh, Super Intensive Face Oil. I do wanna try this. I have not gotten a chance to and I'm so curious about this. So this is the super intensive face oil. This is what it looks like. It actually looks like a giant nail polish bottle. <laughs> I love that, I love that it's square. So I have this U Beauty card just to summarize. It says, acting as a powerful shield against both chronic and intermittent dehydration, our new oil mimics the skin's natural composition, resupplying its lipid layer and leveraging hyaluronic acids to prevent moisture loss and lock in hydration. All right, I think I'm gonna go right in with this. I'm gonna start with one pump, kind of work it on my hands and press. Ooh, so silky. And my skin feels really smooth after that cleanser. Ooh, I like that cleanser a lot. Ooh, this oil is great. Do you see how my skin looks moisturized, but it doesn't look like oily, shiny, like whenever I use, I don't know, most oils, I feel like an oil slick, at least for the first 10, 15, 30 minutes that I have it on, depending on what kind of oil and how much I put on. But this is so nice. This is such a great texture. I don't feel like a total oil slick. Oh, that's awesome. That's the U Beauty Super Intensive Face Oil. Big, big fan of the texture of this. All right, now let's go to the Clay de Peau Eye Contour Cream Supreme. So it comes with a little like scoop applicator. Isn't that so fancy? Here is the eye cream. Now I used the predecessor to this many years ago. I wanna say maybe five, how long have I lived here? Probably six years ago at this point. And I really enjoyed it. You know, I had a tough time before I started using the Clay de Peau, the predecessor to this, um, I had a tough time with Melia. I felt like every time I would try an eye cream, I would somehow get some like blocked pores or just some sort of weird issue underneath my eyes. And so I kind of just stopped using eye cream for a while. And then I gave the Clay de Peau a shot and it was like life-changing. I was like, oh my God, this really, <laughs> This really is a great eye cream. So anyway, I had used that up a while ago and I'm so excited that they have come out with like a new reformulation because when Clay de Peau reformulates something, it really is for the better, I've noticed. And not all brands are like that, unfortunately. Oh, this is nice. Very silky. God, I'm using that word a lot tonight, but super silky texture. Now I know why they have this. I feel like I could, I could stand here and do this all night. That's amazing. I'm probably supposed to just go in one direction, but this feels too good. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing those. Oh, wow. Lovely, and this looks like it is refillable. So it looks like this part of the jar pops out and then you can just get a refill. 
That's so nice. So that's the new Eye Contour Cream Supreme from Clay de Poe. All right, now for the new Prada cream. So, so excited. But let's just admire this U Beauty oil before I put the cream on top. Gorgeous. Okay, it does come with a little Prada scooper. Hold on. In the Prada green. I love the Prada green. It's like a pistachio green. And then here is the jar. It's really beautiful. Prada triangle on top. And I do believe these are refillable as well. Yeah. So this inside, you can actually see it from the outside, the inside um, like jar comes out. So it is sealed. And then there's another plastic cover. Here's what the texture of the cream looks like. Ooh, it's very cooling. Super light, super light fragrance. It's lighter in texture than like an evening cream. So it's definitely lighter than La Mer, the original moisturizing cream. It's actually closer to their soft cream. Um, it's definitely lighter than the Clay de Poe Synactive. Yeah, it's looser than that. It's really nice. It feels actually very cooling on the skin. So the Prada Augmented Skin Cream for day and night. Adapt your skin to the future. Coated with the Adapto.gn smart technology, the cream augments skin's resistance to daily challenges. Co-formulated with Proxylane, vitamin C, G, and ceramides, this transformative gel to balm cream. Ah. That explains the texture. I was gonna say it almost has like a gel-like texture. That's that kind of cooling feeling. Gel to bomb cream fuses onto skin for augmented skin youth on three dimensions. Skin structure looks replumped, skin texture feels smoother, and a mastered radiance is revealed. By purchasing a refill, you use 86% less packaging compared to repurchasing a full cream jar, formulated with 91% bio-based ingredients. I am really excited for this because, again, I've been talking about this a lot in my recent videos, with the upcoming seasonal change and the warmer months coming, I love these kind of uh, moisturizers that are deeply hydrating, but are just a little bit lighter. You know, have this kind of like gel texture to them. So, so nice. My skin does look really smooth. You know, I am really impressed with everything I tried. I'm, <clears throat> I'm so pissed. <laughs> I really want to try that essence lotion. Anyway, once I get the replacement jar, I will definitely try it. Um, but the augmented skin cleaner, really, really nice, really effective. I love that it did not leave my skin feeling tight. This is gorgeous. The U Beauty oil is gorgeous. This eye cream, incredible. Well, tomorrow morning, we will know for sure whether or not this skincare agrees with me. My skin will usually tell me very quickly if something is not gonna work for it. So I will see you guys in the morning and we'll see what my skin is looking like. But I'm loving it, loving it right now. Good morning. How's everyone? <laughs> I just got out of bed. Oh my gosh, it's about five in the morning. Sorry, my eyes are a little watery, but I just wanted to show you. Ooh, my skin. Wow, it feels really smooth. Hold on, let me take off my, my spectacles. Super smooth. Yeah, I usually have um, a little bit of texture here, just some like small bumps, basically. They feel really, really smooth, that part of my, my skin. Wow, how do my eyes look? <laughs> Ooh, my eyes look good too. You know, sometimes I feel like when I use an eye cream, I'll wake up and my eyes look puffier almost in a way, but I feel like this actually took care of puffiness. Oh, wow. Well, big thumbs up for, so the product cleanser, the U Beauty oil, the Clay de Poe Eye Contour Cream Supreme, and the Prada Augmented Skin Cream. Amazing, absolutely amazing. All right, well, I'm gonna get on with my day. I'm probably gonna stop this and start another vlog. So anyway, I'll see you very soon. Don't forget to check down below in my description box for links to all of these amazing products that I tried yesterday. And a big thank you to Nordstrom again for working with me on this video. 
such great stuff. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video.